Hey guys, this is Austin. The last time Razer announced a brand new keyboard, more than a few of you guys were interested in it. So when they announced a brand new keyboard, which is not only silent, but also much cheaper, of course we have to take a look at it. This is the Razer Black Widow Lite keyboard. Now at 90 bucks, it's less than half the price of that Huntsman Elite. And with this, you're getting something that's a little bit more focused on normal use as well as gaming. Pop this guy open and we have the keyboard itself. Now this is a little bit of a smaller one compared to the Elite, so it is a 10 keyless design. But personally, I kind of don't mind that. I would rather have a little bit of extra space Wait a minute, wait a minute. So in the box it says it has silent switches with included O-rings, but I didn't think that the O-rings actually have to be manually installed. Um, okay, all right. This is not a super cheap keyboard, so it shouldn't be a surprise, but that deck lid feels so sturdy. So we do have the detachable micro USB cable. Now I would prefer to see this as USB-C, but honestly I feel like that's still a nice little portable package. So I guess we, uh, it's time to remove the keys. <laughs> I didn't realize I was signing up for a bunch of work with my keyboard here. So we do have our little key removal tool here. I'm not sure why this is included. I mean, maybe the feeling isn't quite as nice with the O-rings on. Let's, uh, let's pop it out for our WASD keys. Okay. So if I wrap the O-ring around the switch, I guess that works. Let's uh, pop it back on and see. All right, so this is what a normal switch sounds like. And the new one. I mean, it makes it a little bit quieter. I guess some people will probably want to install these. For me, I don't see a huge difference unless maybe I'm working in an office where I really want to keep it as quiet as possible. It's much quieter. This is how people type. Spreadsheets, Excel, KPIs. Ah. Plug the Black Widow in and you'll see it's a little bit more of a subdued look. So it is all white LED lighting, unlike the higher-end Razer models, which do have full RGB. But considering the price and considering that this is supposed to be a little bit more of a grown-up keyboard, that's no problem. Now, we do still have full Razer setup, so we can change the lighting if we'd like. So right now, it's pretty much just sort of dimming it or brightening it. You can do the breathing effect, which is fine, but I mean, for the most part, it's either do you want it on or do you want it off. I will say, the lights actually are really bright. This almost feels like it's maybe just as bright, if not even brighter, than some of the RGB stuff. So another keyboard that I really like is the Tomoko. Now this is a very, very cheap keyboard. It's got the blue knockoff switches, and at only $28, usually this has been my main recommendation for people who are wanting to get into mechanical switches. But if you listen to it, versus, I mean, there's a big, big difference in the noise there. What the hell? Wait, I lied. There's one RGB key, it's the caps lock. Huh, okay. Well, I guess that's, is that RGB? It's just G. It's a G key. So for gaming, it's fine, but my main thing is I don't quite have that same kind of tactile feedback that I do on something that's a little bit more clicky like the blue switches. I mean, it's definitely usable, and I think some people actually might prefer something that's a little bit quieter when gaming, but for me, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit on the, uh, a little bit on the subtle side. If we switch over to the Huntsman Elite keyboard, well, I mean, there's a reason why this is my favorite gaming keyboard out right now. First of all, it's got the sound, but almost more importantly than that, it's a little bit more of a tactile feel. So when I click the button, I know that I've hit it, right? There's no sort of, I don't say vagueness, but it's, it's not loose. It's all very, very tight, and it feels like I'm actually properly losing in Overwatch. That's my favorite thing is when I lose in Overwatch. Are you serious right now? There we go. At $90, the Razer Black Widow Lite is something that's a little different than a lot of the mechanical keyboards I take a look at. Instead of being purely focused on gaming, this is a little bit more of a subtle design, so it's got the white LEDs, the all matte black plastic, and on top of that, it's a very quiet keyboard. So if you want something that's great for typing, the Lite is definitely worth a look. If you want something that's a little bit more focused on gaming, though, there are definitely other options.